Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rights to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pell on you. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. be back. Each will say by what they have. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help some will be. From these you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. What comes next once life subsides? Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? We'll prepare to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever caught in this world's thrall, see this sigh and gentle pale. Ye we summon, ye we call. Souls, we'll judge ye all. Hark, a 
sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? No. I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy! Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. Good folk, leave not these grounds. Ye cannot break the circle. <laughs> an ill turn, ill, woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. The bloodshed, it do any harm? Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is all is Wraiths! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run! Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambrose, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. Ugh. 
It's clearing up. good shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in, got to incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. White wolf, wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me, ye would have. What's your story? You actually kill your father? It was an evil man. 
The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his mother, the Pella could not look upon it. So he split the father's head with an axe, left him in the swamp. But folk knew. Ghost's not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. off the road at high speed. Doesn't bode well. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kirill explained this one. when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted. Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But he must wait a bit. 
color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane then painful. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, then no. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I feel honored. Truly. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Faster. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. <laughs> as fast as you can. Try to catch me. you a better horseman. For the record, I was riding a mouse. For someone who usually trots around on a roach, that shouldn't present a challenge. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? 
Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cockogander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I've two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Uh, why are you even interested? Because I grasped the importance of the studies conducted there. In the wrong hands, the findings could do immense harm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Your fairy tale, your rules. Really? Then close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, want to play hide and seek? Why not? A skirt? Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Shoes on. Now, where's that Cinderella gone to? Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvain Navi. She's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower.
a light. Top floor of the tower. For. Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face, or I might think you don't like me anymore. Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? Nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget. And Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? Long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. Yeah, kinda. So before I go, I'll need you to hand me those notes. All right, all right, take them already. Farewell, Geralt. Or rather, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>